Hi, hi. A very good day to all of you. Welcome to my channel again. So in this video, I'm going to actually talk a little bit on the Sunday's time. There's actually one report, one article, right? Uh, almost a three-quarter page article talking about a new launch condo pricing uh, about 70% more than the resale one, right? So this article actually mentioned quite a number of things and they also quoted a few projects a few new launch project some are 99 and some are freehold right so i just want to base on my own opinion to do a review on this article right and i'm going to contribute a little bit on my research data to share with all of you so hopefully after this video all of you are able to have a better understanding on this article and I think you are able to make a more informed decision moving forwards whether should you go for a resale or a new launch and why the report stated 70% gap difference. So is this applied to all kinds of property in the particular district? So in this video, I'm going to actually review to you on all these questions to give you a very, very uh, practical and with a data support uh, question answers right so i hope you guys are able to enjoy and you are able to benefit from my sharing right so stay tuned welcome back everybody this is jip again and this is the article that you see on the screen this is actually the sunday's time uh, article that i have mentioned right when new condo units cost more than the sales one by over 70 percent what should you do right so i'm going to dive into more in-depth analysis support with some of the research data that i have prepared to share with all of you right so hopefully you guys enjoy and have and will benefit from my sharing right okay so this is the article actually the date is actually on the 18th of june right appear on the sunday's time right and in this article, because the article is the wording is a bit small, so I enlarge it and I bring out those points that I really want to make a little bit of the comments, right? Uh, and share with all of you. New condos have always commanded higher prices than the nearby resale ones, but the gap has become so wide. So is that true that the wide the gap has actually widened up? Is this statement applied? across the board so today i'm going to dive deep into this right to share with all of you so in order to understand that then i have actually pulled out some data from the ura uh, the source is actually from ura so i actually do a whole island new sales overall combined of freehold and 99 years overall new sales right so we have seen since covid uh, 2020 to now we have seen a 42.64 percent island wide right so this is based on the whole island right new sales and uh, combined of 99 and freehold right and because the article actually mentioned after covid that's why we take from 2020 to now we have seen 42.64 percent for the new sales right so I also do the same thing for the resale and we have seen a 22.27% increase, right? So it looks like the article is quite correct based on overall island average per square foot and a combination of a freehold and 99 years. Because if we are going to put them side by side, I think there's an increase of 91% in the last four years based on the overall increment right between a resale and a new launch of course new launch has increased by 91 percent right this is based on the average per square foot right and the article also data mentioned about a project at district 15 called the continuum and this project actually just launched in may right and they have achieved a median uh, psf of 2720 per square foot right so this project is located at Katong District 15, right? So since they bring out this project, so I also dive deep into analysis on the average PSF increment in the District 15 
Same thing for the overall, which is actually consists of 399 years uh, data and is under the resale. It has actually increased by 27.3% based on the data here, right? So D15, overall average per square foot, right? Under the resale has increased by 27.3%. How about the new launch? Right, so based on the same period from 2020 to 2023, actually new launch in District 15 has seen an increase of only 15.69%. Only 15.69%. Right, so if I put them side by side, we can see that actually D, in D15 itself, the resale has increased in terms of average per square foot higher than the new launch by about 70% in the last four years. Right. So this is actually quite surprising, right? Uh, most of the time, actually new launch will actually run faster than resale. But in this thing, we have an opposite uh, case, right? In fact, the resale has run faster than the new launch. But of course, this is actually a combination of a freehold and 99 years. And uh, it's actually from 2020 to 2023, which is after our COVID. COVID open up, right? So this is actually the data we put out from the URA, right? And in the article, also the third point that I want to share with all of you is actually they mentioned after all a freehold resale unit in the same district was selling at a median price of 1595. And this is, I think, is the one that they mentioned 70 over percent uh, for the resale, which is lower than the new launch, right? So this is actually uh, referring to District 15 because they actually code against the continuum which is actually in District 15 freehold as well. Right, so based on this, I'm quite curious to find out what kind of resale property in District 15 actually are clocking $1,595 PSF or thereabout, right? So, I do a research and I have pulled out, of course, this is not the only one but of course, there are still plenty of them, but I just want to use one or two examples to show you for a price of $1,500 over dollar per square foot, what kind of property that you are able to get at District 15 now, which is freehold, right? So this particular project is at Carmel Road, or it's called the Carmel Dina, right? And uh, total only 52 units, so we are able to derive that this is actually a boutique development and TOP in 2025. So the project size is actually quite small, only 52 units. So can you imagine 52 units, the plot of land will not be very big also. So meaning the facilities wise will be quite limited in this particular example, right? So true enough, we have actually some recent transaction or in fact, um, there's like two in 2023 uh, between April 20th and April 26th. And you can see actually their PSF is really 1,500 plus. 1,500 plus, which is actually quite in line with what the article actually quoted, right? But bear in mind, this is actually not a mega project. It's actually a boutique development, right? So I also actually move on to check uh, around the Kachong area. Uh, there's another project called Onan Suites. Right, so this one also a very small project, consists of only 29 units, the project TOP in 2012. Right, so again, it's actually a very, very small project and I'm sure the facilities will be quite limited in that sense. Right, so true enough, the recent transaction in May actually quoted only 1579, which is very, very close to what the article has reported. Right, 1,500 over dollar per square foot. Yes, I think we still are able to find 1,500 over dollar per square foot in District 50 and it's freehold, right? But unless you are able to settle down with a boutique development, which is actually smaller in size, right? The land also smaller and of course, you will not be able to get to enjoy a lot of facilities. But today, I think a lot of buyer buy into condos uh, especially for investors also, they want to make sure that the condo are able to rent out easily and they are able to fetch a better rent, right? For family, they will wish that the family are able to enjoy a better facilities, right? So that, of course, is the individual preference, 
But from these two examples, I think we are able to conclude that $1,500 over dollars is possible to find in the resale market and it's freehold. But we have to actually compromise with the facilities. Right, so there's something that uh, we have to take note. Yeah, so I also move on to check the bigger project, for example, right, D15 1 Amber. Right, this is actually a Katong area, Amber area. Uh, it's a very big project, land size almost 250,000 square feet. Right, of course, this kind of big size project definitely, in terms of facilities, is much more. Uh, you have plenty of choices, right? Your swimming pool also is much more bigger. Right. And of course, on top of swimming pool, you will still get like tennis court, that kind of things, which is a full facilities condo. Right. This one, we have total of 562 units and I've checked the latest transaction in the April. A two bedroom unit uh, cost $2,390 per square foot, right? which is actually quantum up to $2.29 million. Right. So this is something uh, that is happening in the market so from the small project to a mega project you can see actually the uh, PSF is very much different right we are almost like a thousand close to a thousand dollar per square foot kind of difference from a small project to a big project yeah so this is happening in district 15 right now so if you are going to buy a big mega project to enjoy a better facilities right then this is the kind of price that we are talking about. It's no longer one thousand five hundred over dollars, right? And another project that I have checked also is around the corner there, uh, Amber Road. It's called a Sea View. You can see actually their latest transaction is even much higher, right? Because this is this project is the land size is much bigger, three hundred seventy seven thousand. It's one of the biggest project in terms of land size in this particular location right total 546 unit this is d15 freehold and uh, top in 2008 and today they are able to sell 2482 per square foot and it's not a small uh unit this is actually a three bedroom right a three bedroom uh quantum up to 3.5 million and this was actually done in the may which is in the month of the continuum a new launch, new project launch, right? They launched in in the month of May as well, right? So the resale market at the Sea View has achieved two thousand four hundred eighty two dollar per square foot, right? So this is almost one thousand dollar difference from the project that I've shown you the earlier on, the Camel Road and the Onan Suite, right? Those two projects you are still able to get at one thousand five. I'm sure a lot of smaller projects like the Camel Onan right you are still able to find it at a very attractive uh, psf but again of course you have to weigh your objective of buying whether are you buying just for the stay uh, do you want the kind of enjoyment and have you actually considered the resale value in the future or not so that also have to take into consideration right again of course the rental price for a boutique development maybe will be lower as compared to the mega development whereby the tenant are able to enjoy a better facilities mm. so these are the things that i think we have to take into consideration besides just looking at the article to see that oh yeah new launch is already so high so i think we better actually look let look out for something else yeah of course i think our buying objective is very much mm. uh, important as well right and of course uh i'm i'm i have pulled out uh the Article actually mentioned about the continuum. So this is actually a total 816 units and the land size is almost 270,000 square feet. So by far, I think this is one of the biggest project launching in this year or in Katong area. I think this is one of the biggest project launching right in the recent year after the Seaview condominium, right? The land size is 270,000 square feet, which is one of the biggest right and total 816 units this project actually make it to singapore third largest freehold development so can you imagine with such a big land uh, what kind of facilities that a developer are able to pack into this project so i'm sure you have a lot of imagination for sure right because the newer launch always the developer actually emphasize a lot on the facilities and of course, the finishing, the quality of the fitting and appliances, they are all on the top notch uh, level, right? So, Continuum is at 
along uh, Thamesil Avenue, very, very close to the PLQ area. And uh, of course, it's walking distance to Dakota MRT station and the Paya Lebar MRT station. And this project also is very close to all the wet market, the eatery, and it's actually within one kilometer to one of the famous school here, Gonghua Primary Gonghua School. And of course, Hegge and the Tanjong Katong Primary School are all within one creek. So these are some of the unique points for this project on top of the size, right? On top of the facilities that the uh, owner or the tenant are able to enjoy. And this project actually developer put, Hoi Hap put in a lot of effort because they actually built facility on the ground floor and they have actually catered four towers, rooftop to cater for the facilities as well. So I think it's one of the very unique projects in this particular area. And you can see actually the PSF, the PSF, those people who buy on the launch day, they are able to get it at two five something, right? $2,500 over dollars per square foot. So if we use, let's say I round up and I use $2,600 per square foot to compare to the sea view, which is a resale condo, right? 2482 per square foot. The difference is, 4.75% only, right? Meaning it's not 70% like what the article actually mentioned, right? So if we compare the right thing, this the big project compared to the big project, freehold to freehold, right? Location to location. I think the continuum 2006 is actually uh, quite justifiable, quite justifiable because it's only 4.75%. Uh, different from the sea view condo right if we talk about two thousand seven hundred dollar per square foot even at the continuum right the difference is only eight point seven eight percent eight point seven eight percent difference from the sea view condo which is already more than 10 years old right so this is the continuum uh data that i have prepared to show all of you right and if you actually move on the article also mentioned about Previously, new launches were typically priced at between 20% and 30% above the resale price, right? So, which is quite true. Typically, this is actually the kind of premium that maybe buyer will have to pay if you are going for a new launch condo, right? So, we are not talking about even today for the continuum. You still have a chance to buy something very, very attractive. And we are not talking about 70% at all. Right, not even twenty or thirty percent. Today you are buying into continuum. You are you still got a chance to get it at about five percent different from the sea view condominium last transacted price. Right, so this is something really happening in the market, and I, I just want to do some verification because I am uh, very well versed in the district fifteen, and of course this is the PSF that is happening now and. The, I hope this sharing actually give you some idea why buyer are willing to pay at this kind of rate at the continuum, right? Because the next paragraph of the article actually mentioned market observer was surprised by the high price premium buyers were willing to pay for the development in the Thamesil Avenue, which is the which is the continuum, right? So with this, I really explain to you, if you look at the PSF, on average, on average is $2,700 over dollars. But of course, some buyer prefer to have a very high floor. Uh, that is actually the preference. But if you are not going for a very high floor, a low floor to a mid floor, you are not paying even like 2007. You still have a chance to buy at 2600 over dollars, right? Even today at the continuum, I think this is actually something that maybe a lot of buyers are mistaken by the article, right? So if you understand all the data that I've showed to you, then you will not be surprised why buyers are paying, right? the price for the continuum because a lot of them are getting at about 2005 2006 it's only those people who prefer a higher floor or a premium block right then they will have to pay a premium for that right i think that will apply to every project from the ocr to rcr to ccr right so once you understand then you are once you understand all the data if, if you have all the data then i'm very sure you will not be surprised Right. So I hope by now, I think you have a little bit understanding on why buyers are buying continuum, right? And if this is not enough, I'm going to show you 
Because the article also mentioned in the future, will they be buyer paying a higher price for you if you are buying into continuum or not? That was actually exactly what the article mentioned, right? They want buyer to actually do their due diligence. So today, I just want to enlighten you a little bit by showing you at Amber Park, right? People pay $2,400 over dollars in the launch day. Today, they are able to sell at $2,827 per square foot. And they are actually buyer coming in to buy from them, right? $2,827. And this is this project is also a big skill project by CDL, right? Along Amber Road. And the project has not been has not obtained TOP yet, but Again, there are actually quite a number of sub-sales unit happening in the market. And you have seen like 2679 and the highest so far I've seen is actually $2827 per square foot for a 2 plus study unit 743 and the quantum is $2.1 million, right? So you can see actually buyers are accepting at this kind of rate. And this is to explain if you are able to pick up some good unit at a better pricing now, then in the future, it will be easier for you to exit out like all these, like all these people actually uh, buying Amber Park at the early day during the launch. Today, they are able to sell, right, with definitely some profits, right? So buyers are paying because the whole market, everything has increased. The land cost, the construction cost, all this has actually pushed the pricing up and buyer already start to accepting all this pricing, right? Moreover, we have seen there will be a lot of infrastructure coming in to East Coast area, especially the street facing, will get to enjoy a lot of things coming up, right? And that will actually help to enhance the property value here as well, right? And this is the Amber part. So I have also prepared those projects that are launching now in the area, right? Also, this there are actually three like main uh, project that are selling, still selling right now. Live at MB Tambusu Grand and uh, Mayan Mansion. So two of them are ninety nine years, right? And the other one, Mayan Mansion, is a freehold project. So you can see actually the average pricing for the ninety nine years Tambusu Grand and the Live at MB already done at 2430 to 2474 per square foot. This is the average PSF, right? But if you talk about the maximum PSF the buyer are willing to pay, it's already clocked in at 2730 to 2909 per square foot, eh? right? And my, this is a 99 years project. So those buyers are buying me most likely on the higher floor. They The buyer are prepared, already paid 2700 over dollars until 2909 right so imagine those people who buy into the continuum they are paying at 26 25 something 26 something even at 27 right so there's already a safety net done in the market nearby for them which is a 99 years launch right that's why continuum is actually a freehold and to get a big plot of freehold in Singapore or even at Katong is actually very, very rare. <laughs> right? So that is something maybe a lot of buyers have seen the potential of the continuum. That's why they actually come in to pick up the, the best buy unit during the launch day. Yeah. And may I mention being a freehold, a really done deal at 2491 and 3293. They are actually buyer already paid this kind of PSF at Mayor Mansion, which is along Mayor Road, right? So that means the market in District 15 has moved and it has actually formed a very strong safety net uh, for those freehold buyers that are buying at 25, 26, 27, right? Because everything already has been supported, especially by the 299 years project nearby. Right, so this is something that I hope all of you are able to have a better understanding, right? And of course, Katong, all the freehold project, right? I have actually searched all the big freehold project in Katong, and we have seen actually they have done very well from launch until today, right? The increment per year we are talking about five point eight three to six point seven six percent, right? So this is something really very very impressive. Right, so I'm sure based on all these records, those people who buy into 
carton with a big freehold project. I'm sure if they are holding on for a period of time, they will see appreciation as what all those buyers previously bought into one amber, the ASTA, the C view, or even the head court. Right, so these are the data that we have pulled up from URA to show to all of you, right? And the newspaper explained, I mean, the article actually mentioned about market observer was surprised by the high price premium buyer were willing to pay. I think with all the data that I've actually showed to you all quickly, right, because I don't want to create a very long video, right? But with all those data that I've actually streamlined and uh, make it, very relevant to this article, right? You will have a better understanding of why there are some projects selling at one five something, and some are going at two six two seven, but people are still buying, right? So there are there is actually a difference between a small development and a big development in terms of the selling price, in terms of the resale price, in terms of the demand as well, right? So a bigger project in Katong area definitely is going to help you to exit out faster because the demand is so much higher as compared to a smaller development right so this is actually what i'm trying to say and with this if you think that it hey, is this an opportunity or not i mean up to you right but anyway continuum uh, still have a price of 1.696 for a two bit two bath unit which is you can see actually is the lowest most affordable pricing uh, compared to all the units available for sales in the whole District 15 now. Or even this Tambusu Grand, there are two plus study already. The next available unit, the price is at 1920, 1.920 already. Right? So today, if you want to find something like 1.7 plus minus, I think Continuum 2 still have a chance to offer you some of the very good choice unit as well right and uh, we are talking about 2625 per square foot which is still very very justifiable right as you have seen from all the past data that i have presented to all of you right so if you are interested to find out more about the continuum do contact us and or if not you can click the link behind below the description Right, then you are able to receive more information or you can find out more information about this project. A very beautiful project whereby first in Singapore, right, uh, two big plots of land are integrated with a helix overhead bridge, which I think is very unique. Right, So this is something that you can find out in more details. Right, So my name is Jeep Ng and I hope you enjoy this video and uh, this video actually helped you to get some insights about the district fifteen, right? And if you like my video, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, right? Uh, so that next time when I put up a new article or new video, you are able to get it uh, notified as well, right? So with that, good day to all of you and see you very soon.